Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and living with a supercar. My car is absolutely filthy. I feel that some of the episodes on living with a supercar have shown the negatives of having this car as an everyday uh, supercar. So I'm going to show you what sort of fun you can have in this car on a daily basis. So ladies and gentlemen, the past few videos of living with a supercar, can you drive this car every day? Talking about some of the running costs of uh, living with this supercar or Audi R8, depends whether you think it's a supercar or not. I want to talk about the fun and positive aspects of this car. So firstly, the exterior of the car. As soon as I walk out the front door and I see this baby blue beast in front of me, I just my eyes light up, my heart starts racing knowing that I'm going to be driving and being piloting the 420 brake horsepower V8. I've said before the power on this car is very manageable but it's also enjoyable. So let me run through a few of my feelings when I first get in this car. First things, the seats are very comfortable, you sit really low to the ground and the view is exquisite. You get the baby blue um, accents everywhere. I always keep my air brake slash spoiler slash aerodynamics thing up, which um, some of the guys at SB Race don't approve of because they think that it's annoying. However, as well, there's lots of carbon, so I feel like I'm in something very special and it's very, very well put together. And I've got the key in my hand, and I mean, the amount of times that I've started this car on YouTube is um, uncountable, but doing it again and hearing the V8 roar is something that gets my blood pumping every single day of the week. And I'm gonna turn the music off because YouTube copyrights don't allow for music to be played. But who needs music when you've got the uh, exhaust system like that behind. Into first gear, I don't normally stall it every, every, no, I don't stall it at all. That was just, I don't know why I said that. So moving away, it's very easy to drive, which makes it easy to use every day. Audi did say they were trying to build an everyday supercar. And when I'm doing normal journeys, very average journeys, my commute to into work, um, driving on motorways, doing long distances, seeing friends, driving into central London, the car manages the roads very well. The suspension is stiff, but I mean, I'm gonna be driving over a drain now. You can feel it, but having been in a Lamborghini not so long ago, it does feel completely soft compared to um, the Gallardo that I was in. Comparing it to the last car or the last supercar that I was in, which is um, a Lamborghini Gallardo, this car is a much softer version. I've just mentioned it previously, but just from the seats to the doors to moving away, you feel everything in the Lamborghini, and that's something that I'm not going to be looking forward to when I buy my second supercar. This car is built for everyday roads. It's actually built for UK roads, whereas Lamborghinis, they're wide, they're low, and they don't really consider what some of the UK roads are like with the awful, awful tarmac and everything in between. At low speeds, the car is fantastic to drive. I'm, I normally do have the radio on. The valves tend to stay shut when I'm doing everyday normal drives, but today I've got it in auto mode. So slow moving traffic is quite quiet, but then as soon as I decide to open the car up, put my foot down, the valves open, which is actually a really fun thing to do. It always brings a smile to my face to hear the army tricks exhaust. And we're gonna move away now. This car in front is literally, oh. Thank you very much, kind sir. He didn't need to let me out, but he let me out. Maybe he wants to see how dirty the rear of my car is. So now the valves stay shut, and then they open up as I put my foot down. And we're driving around a fairly uh, residential area. There's going to be speed bumps, but when I mentioned it in the past video of can you use this car every day, I did emphasize the negativity of driving this car every day. Maybe I was just in a bad mood and I woke up on the wrong side of the bed because I really don't care about speed bumps in this car. And here we go, speed bump number one. If you live in the UK, you'll know that some speed bumps are just mini mounds on each side of the road. So there's one on my side of the road and one on the other side of the road. And the brilliant thing about this car is, is because it's wide and the wheels are so far apart, normally you can get both wheels either side of the speed bump, but you don't really have to slow down at all. I'm doing 20 miles an hour, which is the speed limit. And it didn't seem like I needed to slow down. I didn't scrape or anything. Now we're into a 40 mile an hour speed zone. You get to hear the exhaust behind. I'm doing 5,000 RPM. So 
quick and loud. And the dog there literally jumped out of its skin, and I think the owner did as well. Maybe he pooed himself as well. And that was second gear, and I don't even know what speed we got up to. 40 mile an hour speed limit, and I've lost five miles of fuel. And as you can see, I got up on the right side of the bed making this video, I'm gonna go left here. And you do find an excuse to drive anywhere with this car. That's the brilliant thing about, all ouch. VW Golf had a bit of a hit. It's 2.5 degrees outside. It's quite wet, it's quite slippery. I've got the traction control off. You do have to be careful in this car. I was just telling my cameraman, when you go around roundabouts in the uh, slippery, slippery uh, conditions, then you do have to be careful about how you use the throttle because if you do use the throttle, the back end will skid out and it becomes a very dangerous bit of kit as well and you'll probably end up in the bushes either side. So um, we're gonna keep it fairly tame always stick to the speed limit. I've still got it in auto mode and it's quiet now. You can drop it down a gear. Valve's open. And it's got grunt. No matter what gear you're in, the torque in this car is fantastic and it just pulls you forward. I'm in fourth gear now. I'm gonna get it back down to um, around 3,000 RPM and hopefully you'll get to see the sort of power that this car has. It's not the most powerful car in the world and everyone knows that, but it is still a quick car. So here we go, 3,000 RPM in fourth gear and it just builds the power back up and already you're going to the speed limit and you have to put your brakes back on. So not only it does this make me super happy, the happiest person in the world driving this car, it also makes a lot of other people happy. The blue is probably one of the most popular colours I could have chosen to have on this car, but the R8 is such a loved car anyway. The V8 and the V10 version are both brilliant. I've got someone up my bum, so I'm just gonna put my foot down and lose him because it annoys me when that happens, when people wanna race. Even though this isn't the fastest car, and I've already said it's not the fastest car, it's still faster than most cars, which is a really, really nice thing to have um, when you're driving this car. Going back to putting other people, put a smile on other people's faces, it always puts a smile on my face when I'm driving it. But driving through built up areas, driving through town centres, I drive through Watford quite a bit and it gets looks, thumbs up, pictures taken, videos everywhere that I go. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drive through a fairly busy town. We're gonna to drive through St Albans. I think they've got a Christmas market on at the same time as well. So fingers crossed we can get a great reaction when they love the baby blue, which is actually quite a wintry color. It's quite a cold color and uh, oh, window down. Valves on, quick. You come across those every now and again, and it's the same routine. Shut up, drop it down again, valves open, window down, and you go. And that is what this car is all about. And it wouldn't, and this car wouldn't be what it's all about if it didn't have that exhaust system. And the exhaust system definitely makes this car a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable, because when it was stock, it was quite quiet. It did have a nice V8 tone to it, but nothing like what this exhaust system's got at the moment. Now we're gonna cruise into St Albans and try and get some reactions, and try and get some thumbs up, some smiles, and everything in between. Pigeon. Pigeon's the only one that's got close. That's a looking 
right. So we've done the St Albans High Street. Not what I was expecting. I thought that it would be a lot busier seeing that it's mid-December mid and everyone's rushing around trying to get their Christmas presents. But um, I think whether the camera got it or not, there was lots of people that were looking probably here or whatever and the camera was facing that way um, but that's one of the great things about this car it's not only making my day driving it but it also makes so many other people's day by seeing it and hearing it which is such a fantastic thing that a car is able to do and is the whole idea why I bought my first supercar it was to try and show and bring as many people as possible on the journey of what it's like to own a supercar how you can uh, make your own day but make so many other people's days jaws hit the floor people start going like that when they hear the car dogs jump out of their skin and everything in between so living with a supercar the positive video of owning an r8 how fun how much fun you can have you get endless power in any gear and any rev range you get a lot of fun driving through the town center whether there's speed bumps or not um, and of course there's positives and negatives to every car but the Audi R8 is such a fantastic car the V8 version is perfect manual gearbox you do not want the R-Tronic the auto is absolutely horrible let's put it into first now thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this is um, you're coming from literally the gearbox this is gearbox cam everyone and uh, we're going to be driving back home now. I hope you enjoy. There's loads more videos to come. Living with a supercar next Saturday is the Christmas special. So I hope you guys can tune in next Saturday for the Christmas special. I'm really looking forward to editing it and uploading it. We're going to head to um, uh, probably McDonald's now. So um, I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Have a good weekend.